Okay, Sony Xperia Z HTC One X iPhone 5. We're going to do a little test uh, of the display using the Bravia engine to show you guys what it does for photos and videos. Um, I'm actually going to take a picture with all three of these phones. We have the same photo uh, displayed on each screen and then turn the Bravia engine on and off to show you the difference. Okay, we'll start with the HTC One X. We've got uh, a plant here off camera. I'll fire up the camera app and I'll shoot it without flash, auto settings, hold it as still as I can get it. Um, and there we go, so we've got this guy here, we'll start, uh, we'll now use the iPhone and come up, we'll take a picture here, with the iPhone again, same thing, no flash, auto settings, and let's see, there's our iPhone picture, um, and then we'll finally start again, or excuse me, we'll go with the Xperia Z, <clears throat> fire up the camera, wait for it because there's camera lag <laughs> um, no flash auto settings and we will go okay so we've got all three of these guys here now with the same photo um, and this isn't really that great of an example because they're not the same picture they're obviously taken with different cameras and so how do you know, you know, you can't really compare um, exposure and stuff because it's going to look different. Um, I've been really impressed actually with the camera quality on the Xperia Z. I think it's actually quite good. Um, this, uh, you know, just looking at these three, if we go here and look at the exposure on this guy um, compared to the other three, they're they're pretty close. I mean, they're, they're kind of the same. I don't know, this the 1X looks probably the worst of the bunch um, in terms of the noise in the photo and uh, the sharpness and the color representation, but um, Xperia looks good, iPhone looks good. If we go back now and then look at, we'll keep this here and then we'll go back and we'll turn off the, um, we'll actually turn off the Bravia engine and see what that looks like. And you can actually tell uh, when you do that, you can see how the Bravia engine actually changes how the photos and videos look in the gallery. Um, so if we open that up, you can actually see quite a bit of difference here. Uh, not as contrasty, not as much color. Um, so it pushes, it makes it look more along the lines of the One X uh, and the iPhone 5 when you have that Bravia engine turned on. And you can actually see it load um, as well. Like So if I click on a photo from today and then it brings it up and you don't see any change, right? It just kind of looks static. Uh, if I go back now and then load the Bravia engine, um, settings and then go back to the gallery you can actually see the Bravia engine load in the picture so if I go it's really noticeable on some of these other photos like so if I click on this you can see it boom it loads right there you get nice color nice contrast um, nice nicely overlaid into in in the gallery app uh, again so if we go here boom you can actually see it load there again um, we'll click on this one, and there it goes. So there's a little bit of a lag there, which is kind of annoying, but um, it does it does improve the overall color, saturation, and picture quality inside the gallery app. Now, if you've seen my other videos where I talk about the complaining a bit about the screen, unfortunately, Sony didn't apply that same tactic to their home screen or to their built-in apps or any other apps, and so you don't get that nice color saturation and that nice contrast with the regular screen. So the screen, in my opinion, is lacking when you compare it to some of the other market leaders like the HTC One X or the iPhone 5. I think Sony should have applied that same concept to their home screen and made the screens look the same, uh, or excuse me, not look the same, but be the same quality and the same color and nice um, attributes of that display, that Bravia engine, with the home screen and with your apps. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. You get a can see a little bit about how the Bravia engine works and what it does for your videos. That same thing applies to videos as well. So if you're watching a video, it will actually um, sort of upgrade the quality of the video as you watch it. Uh, don't forget to make some comments and uh, rate and subscribe to my channel if you like it. Thanks.